Hello, I'm Sammy Marston. I'm a product developer here at ACO, and I'm here today to talk to you over the EI1020 and EI1025 environmental sensors, which you see before me. The key difference being that the 1025 offers uh, carbon dioxide monitoring, whereas the 1020 does not. So you would install, say for example, a 1020 in a kitchen, whereas you'd install a 1025 in a living area, such as a bedroom or living room. To identify if you have a 1020 or a 1025, simply use two stickers on the bottom. One of them will indicate it's a 1025, whilst the other one will indicate that it is a 1020. There is no visual difference outside the sticker between the units. When it comes to installing the base for the environmental sensor, all installation should be done with simple hand tools, which is just simply a case of tightening down either screw, once tight, back the screws off just half a turn to ensure that no excess force is placed on the base. So when it comes to the installation, uh, all installation is managed through the SmartLink app. So what you'll do is you'll log into the app, start by pressing add installations, as we're installing environmental sensors, what we're going to do is we're going to press yes, we will be installing environmental sensors, and we'll begin by scanning the QR code on the bottom of the gateway. Once scanned, it will check whether or not the firmware on the unit is up to date. Um, currently, this gateway is up to date, so we get a green tick. However, it is not up to date. It will prompt you to um, complete an update, and what that is, is you simply press yes, wait for the time to update, and it will notify you when that update is done. So once complete, we're going to press continue. We're going to enter details about the property. So um, in the search bar, what we're going to do is we're going to type the address of the property. So that can be as simple as the postcode. When you press search, a list of all addresses under that postcode will appear. Tap whichever one is at the address you're currently installing in. Then we're going to fill out the UPRN field, which is the unique property reference number. Um, put something sensible here as it will be what you search for in order to find the property at a later date. Once done, press continue and it will prompt you to enter a few details about the property if they're known so say for example what floor is it on is it a basement is it a top floor however if you don't know any of these they're not mandatory fields you can press continue and no information is required this information can be input later on the portal what we're going to do is going to add the gateway to the system by simply scanning the QR code again on the bottom pressing next we're then going to input information about the gateway, such as where it's installed in the location tab. You can also put an optional location nickname. However, location nickname should not be repeated unless devices are installed in the same room. We're going to press next, and it will prompt you to put the unit into house coding mode. We're going to do this by pressing the house code button on the top of the unit until that blue solid light appears and releasing. This will then put the unit into house coding mode, so we'll see a number of flashes for every unit in the system. As there is currently one unit in the system, we should see a singular blue flash. Once confirmed, press count confirmed on the app and it will prompt you to the screen where you can add additional units to the system. So pressing add unit, what we're going to do is we're going to scan the QR code on the bottom of the environmental sensor. So we begin by simply scanning it on the phone. And like the gateway, we're going to put basic information about where the unit is installed. Again, you can optionally add a location nickname Press next, and the app will prompt you to slide the unit simply onto the base like that until you hear the solid click. Pressing next once done. So, unlike SmartLink units, uh, there is no house coding required. There's no pressing buttons or counting flashes. It's simply slide on, and the unit will self-code itself later in the process. So what we're going to do is continue through, and in the exact same way, add the 1020. So we'll scan the QR code on the bottom. Press next put information about where the unit itself is installed. And again, once we press next, simply slide onto the base as we have the 1025, hearing the solid click and pressing next. Whenever you've added all the devices to the system, what you're going to do is going to go back to the app, press the finish button, and it will then prompt you to do the same thing we did to put it into house coding mode, where we take a screwdriver, insert it into the house coding slot until this light goes solid blue and then release. Shortly after, we'll see the amber GSM light illuminate, indicating that it's uploading the system to the cloud portal. We're going to give it a quick second for that light to clear. We're going to go back to the app. You'll be prompted through to this page, which will, what we'll do is we'll simply press next. The units will begin to self-code with the gateway. And what this process involves is um, simply just waiting for the uh, sensors to find the gateway and the gateway to find the sensors.